Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Denise, this is Dear Designs, and today is a podcast. It is number nine, ten, I didn't look beforehand, never mind. <laughs> uh, but today I'm going to show you what I've been working on. I have a couple of finished objects, yeah, um, and I have some whips, I have some yarn that I want to make into projects, so I'll get into that. But it's going to be very random again today and very sort of informal, I like that sort of um, way of doing things. Um, I have some incoming as well, so that's quite exciting. Um, and yeah, so I just thought I would start off. Uh, places you can find me are on Instagram as underscore dear designs underscore. You can find me on Facebook. We do have a group, but I don't really go in there that often, which is very naughty of me. Um, but if you want to share anything with me, then um, tag me on Instagram or send me a message or something like that. Um, you'll probably get a response a lot quicker. <laughs> um, I'm on Ravelry, I have my own web website where I sell hand dyed yarn, stitch markers and badges. All the links to where you can find me are down below. So if you're interested, press that little arrow and it will take you to my link tree or I do have them all individual as well. So as you can see, I have finished a couple of um, socks and I'm really pleased that one of them is off the, the needles. Um, I have a bad arm at the moment, not this arm. Um, I have a trapped nerve in my left arm, which is giving me a bit of um, chip. Is it chip? <laughs> um, I can't put my arm back, if that makes sense. Um, it's not a frozen shoulder or anything. I have had that before. Um, and it's a completely different pain. Um, the doctor has gave give me uh, painkillers and that so hopefully fingers crossed in a couple of weeks it should be okay. Um, but I can lift it up and move it round like this. It's when it's low I can't put it put my arm behind me. But anyway that's enough of my ailments. <laughs> um, I have many more but I'm not going to go into them. So like I said I have two finished pairs of socks. So I have got these little feet display things that I thought I would put them on as well so let me show you these ones first see I can put my arm like this it's just when it's low um, so this is the Becky Norman's pattern that I um, knitted I thought I would put it on this because you would see um, the pattern on the front a bit better excuse my watch going off um, so yeah, I thought you'd see the pattern a lot better. And I really like it, it's a really lovely pattern. I done um, three repeats for the leg and I went straight into the heel. I'll show you one here. Straight into the heel, I did a fish lips kiss heel and then I didn't do this side pattern, it says not to do it in the pattern and just do the front. So it is really, really lovely and um, I love the look of it. I really, really love the look. Um, I think it is a proper nice design. Uh, but the thing with me is with my knitting, I like to have just round and round knitting. Um, and I suppose especially with socks because I can take them anywhere and not really have to worry. I can do a fish lips kiss heel really easily. Um, I have also looked at the shadow wrap heel it's very similar to the fish lips kiss heel um, so I'm just going to be sticking with the fish lips kiss heel as I know it it's in my it's embedded in my brain <laughs> um, and it doesn't look too bad these blockers are a little bit big for my size feet uh, but I thought I'd just put them on here because it would show you the lace really nicely from the front from the back so yeah I really really um, like the design the yarn was um, sock yeah by coop knits one was damberite and one was damberite and oh, I have explained about the yarn before and I can't remember I have I bought the bag the project bag over because I wanted to show you how much I had left one was 
Danborite, that's that one. But I can't remember what was Danborite and what was the other one. <laughs> um, oh, have I got the other band? I don't know where the other band has gone, that's here. Excuse. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> um, Lapidite. So, I'm not sure what was what. Um, I can't remember. But I had this much grey left. Um, I haven't weighed it or anything. It is probably about 15 gram there. Um, 10, 10 gram, 15 gram, something like that. And then obviously with the pink, I had quite a bit left over. Very mess messy ball. What I'm going to do is I'm going to probably ball it up instead of caking it. Um, because it's quite like a slippery slippery-ish yarn it's um i think it's fine superwash merino wool 25% nylon 75% merino sorry um so yeah it's um quite a slippy yarn it's really nice but this bag is now going to go into my um box of bags because it's a summer bag and i will put all of the bits and pieces away now but they are socks uh, number one that I have finished and then sock number two is these ones um, whoops <laughs> so these are too big for my blockers and they are just perfect on here so this was the um, boho naco yarn um, I don't think there was a colourway it was just a number uh, and I really really like the way this has come out the only thing that I'm a little bit disappointed with so I knit these just a tube and then I did a um, afterthought heel but I am so annoyed that I had to um, go into the next colour for that little bit of heel and I only went down to 16 stitches on this heel instead of my usual 14 so I normally go down to 14 for the toe and 14 for the heel so I do the heel and the toe exactly the same um on this one it's different because it's a different color so they are um alternate if that makes sense so where the red is on this side the blue is on that side um blue here red there all the way down so I thought I would do the heels that way as well um, so the red heel and then the blue heel um, and I'm just so disappointed that I've had to carry on and do that tie I think it was literally the Kitchener or the last the last half around and the Kitchener that I had to do in that blue um, but these are a gift I'm not going to say who they're for um, but I'm really, really pleased with the yarn. It's really, really lovely. Um, and I did try my best to get the heels very similar. So you can see, um, like, there's a stripe going that way. And that stripe... No, there's, <laughs> there's this stripe here with this stripe here. And then there's that stripe there with that stripe there. Um, so I tried to get them to match as much as I could... Um, obviously I could only do what I could do and I just knitted from the ball basically um, so yeah I'm really pleased with these I'm glad that another um, sock is done or another pair of socks are done but this week I have two pairs so I'm really pleased with that I'm so happy these are off the needles because as you know I was getting a little bit um, fed up with having these on the needle and I just needed to get the lace work done and it literally took me two days <laughs> um not fully but like two um two bits of sitting down was that word <laughs> two sessions of sitting down knitting on it and it was done so I'm really pleased with these they're really really lovely so I will get to wear these now um they're too too precious to give away <laughs> um because they took so long I suppose but um I don't know I probably will do lace socks again but they might take me a long time so yeah the next thing I'm gonna show is another pair of socks oh sorry I'm just getting comfortable um another pair of socks that um is a gift knit but again I'm not saying who it's for um 
I am knitting lots of socks for gifts this year. Um, and I have finished one of the socks. So this is sock number one. I am using um, All Stars um, head, o head Over Heels All Stars by Stolecraft in the colour Splash. So this is what the yarn is. I've dropped something on the floor. Um, and that is what the yarn looks like. That's what it looks like on the sock. And I've also used a mini skein that um, I dyed up as part of last year's um, Christmas set, sock set that I did. Um, it's just what I had left over. And I thought it went quite well with like these two colours here. But even though here it's sort of merged like it's blended really well on the toe um as I didn't want to break up the stripes I wanted the stripes to sort of flow on the top of the foot and that so I'm really pleased with how this one's come out as well I have not cast on for the second one yet um I didn't do the cuff in the contrast because I didn't know how they would knit up even though on there it's um got how it knits you can't always sort of um you can't always go by that because sometimes it knits up differently <laughs> and it depends on how many stitches your tension and so on and so forth um so that's why i've done just the heel and the toe but i am going to try and see if i can at least pull um i don't well i'm uh, I am literally, so this colour here is that top colour and then just a little bit further down it goes into the orangey colour. So they're going to be off by a little bit. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I don't think that really matters as such. Because they're going to be odd but with matching heels and toes. I don't know. But yeah. I like to just knit from the ball and unless it's obviously two separate balls which I'll show in a second um, but yeah so this is um, sock whip number one um, and I will carry on with that and knit to my heart's content <laughs> this bag that I'm using is the one that I made um, I think I might have dropped a stitch marker um, excuse the top of my head I did but it's not it's like a little ring marker let's just put that on the table um yeah so I'm using my own bag and I've also got this which was gifted to me by Sharon from the SC SCR1 TNO podcast which is it um is a little key ring that tells you how to do Kitchener I know how to do Kitchener but this is my sock bag um, and I thought it was perfect to put on my sock bag so that's that um I'm gonna go into um more socks in, in a second but I want to show you my whips first um and the next whip is the shawl <laughs> um it's the Stephen West shawl if you still don't want to see it, then please look away. But I doubt anyone is still keeping it a secret. <laughs> because, yeah, it finished ages ago. Um, so this is what mine looks like so far. I have started to put the border on mine. So, yeah, that's... I'm about halfway, I think. Uh, just under halfway of putting this border on and I've got all this much to go <laughs> trying to see myself um I really love the colors that I've used and I think the border is just it's sort of showing off the colors nicely I have one not problem but I messed up a little bit I manage managed to put my crisscrosses on back to front so that is um my crosses but in theory they should be that way round they look so much neater that way round um 
never mind. <laughs> it is what it is. No one's going to look close enough, I don't think. Um, and I think once it's blocked, the bumpiness of it, like where it's sort of joined along the bottom here, once that's blocked out, I think it will be um, okay. I'm hoping. Um, really, really, really enjoying this at the moment. I know a lot of people complained about how boring the border was. Um, but last night, me and Ian downloaded the new James Bond film. And that is two hours and 40 minutes long. And I just spent the whole evening <laughs> while watching the film knitting on the border. Um, so yes, the border does take longer than three hours say because I think I had I'm not sure I think I was about here and in that two hours I knitted from there to about there and maybe um not as much as that because we also was watching a program called The Act um on Netflix and I think we watched the last couple of episodes of that as well so it took me a good few hours to knit this much we had dinner in between and so on and so forth um i really love the way this is coming out um are my colors something that i would pick if it was in a shop no <laughs> if this was in a shop i would look at it and go oh my goodness look at that it's so loud um but i think it will go with sort of everything it's quite um i don't want to say carnival-y because the colors are quite carnival -y, but I think where they're all together um I don't know it's I'm just really pleased with it um the blue and the green like from far away I don't know or is it just me it looks like one sort of big block um you could have put the colors in any order you wanted but I did keep them a to e so yeah that is my shawlography so far um like I said was it last week, the week before? November is my finishing month, so I wanted to get things finished, and that's why I wanted those socks finished. These not so bad, so much, because I didn't start them that long ago, but these ones I just wanted to get off the needles. So yeah, I'm really pleased with this. I'm going to carry on with it and see how much I can do for next week. Um, talking of next week... Um, we have a week and a bit to go until Vlogmas, which I'm excited about. Um, so Monday is the uh, 28th, I believe, of November. Um, and I was thinking of starting Vlogmas a couple of days early. Um, just because <laughs> um, I have some advent calendars that I want to obviously open up before the first, um, like and set up. Um, I was thinking of getting some bits and pieces out of the loft to set up Christmas um, and do things slowly, maybe not like all at once um, because it takes hours <laughs> and I don't know. Um, I'm hoping to get my decorations up by the first but I don't know whether that will actually happen or not. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. But I, I might start it on Monday. Um, if not, I might do a podcast on Monday the 28th. The 29th, I might start Vlogmas and go from that day. So there might be a podcast next week, there might not be. But throughout December, throughout actual Vlogmas, I will not be doing a podcast. Um, I will be showing you my... Um, works in progress and what I'm working on and so on and so forth throughout Vlogmas as I don't want to get too overwhelmed with it. So that's that. <clears throat> now um, I have put some yarns aside to make some socks and the first one is this lovely yarn here and this is by Bird Street Yarn. I think I left the ball band over there but this is their gingerbread house colourway and I got this when I was at uh, the Southern Wall show. I can't wait to cast this on and I'm going to be doing long socks with this just because it is so nice. I was thinking of possibly using um, a colour to do heels, toes and cuffs. Um, I'm still undecided on that at the moment because... 
I'm not 100% sure. So what I might do is basically do like what I did with the other socks, cast on, do the leg, see how I feel, see what colours I can pick out to do maybe a heel and a toe and go from there. If not, I'll just do the heel and toe in this. But it is lovely and I can't wait to get that cast on. Um, and I want to um, I want to have two socks on the go. I don't want any more than that um, because when I was when I had more than that before, I was getting a little bit overwhelmed. Like, oh, my, I've got all these socks on the go. What one should I pick up? And um, but these are definitely going to get cast on. And then I've got the gift knit ones. And then I've pulled out another set of yarn for car knitting. So these are going to go in my car. There's no deadline for these. Um, it's just yarn that was gifted to me um, by. by um oh my goodness the name has escaped me but I did show it um a little while back it was a great big massive bag I've then I, I just honestly cannot remember uh but I have pulled out this yarn which is the I can't say the name Regia Safari Colour so there is two balls of this, um, two 50 gram balls, and I am going to possibly do two at a time. I'm not sure. I haven't done two at a time for ages. But then I'm thinking if it's car knitting, then I it's a lot easier to just finish one, row, one side of a sock instead of if I'm halfway through the first sock and I need to knit along to the next sock as well. So... I'm undecided, <laughs> uh, but this is this lovely colourway. Like I said, there's no deadline. I'm just gonna cast. I'm gonna cast it on. I'm gonna get um, the rib done, and then it's gonna sit in this bag in my car, ready for if I ever need to have car knitting. Basically, um, I did have this before, but it was with this yarn, and I basically cast it on thinking I would have more car knitting time than I did. And I knew that the I wanted these as gifts, so or this set as a gift, um, so I pulled it out. But this doesn't have a deadline at the moment, <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's that one. And then I've pulled out a little bit more yarn <laughs> that I have um, because I want to have yarn um, in. A, in waiting I suppose uh, for when I finish the gingerbread house socks so uh, the yarns that I have are still this one which is from Rosie's Moments and then a mini from um, I can't remember where this mini's from now um, it wasn't part of the this yarn it was just a mini that I had uh, so this is one of the sock one of the socks that I do want to knit. Uh this might even be the last pair that I knit just because the next set of yarn is from um Bellica Yarns and it is a Christmas colourway. So it's red and green and this was whoopsie <laughs> this is the mini skein that came with it. I've just put it in the, the ball band. So this is a 50 gram and a 20 gram so that I can make socks Christmas socks and then the next one from Bellica Yarns again um, these were all purchased from Southern Wall Show is this one so this is a sparkly mini in grey and this is a sparkly um, it's like a high twist and it's just got lots of different pops of colour and this reminds me of like Christmas lights and that so that's why I thought I would um, pull this out as well um, there's no colourways on these um, they were just um, like 50 gram sock sets or 70 gram sock sets that she was doing um, so I am thinking maybe this one first because obviously uh, well no the gingerbread house first then this one because obviously it's going to be December going to be in the festive spirit so cast this on then possibly if 
we're still in December, um, cast this on. And then maybe in January, I will cast this on as a, um, like, I don't know, a look back at Christmas. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but I have had that caked up for quite a while now. I do really like the yarn. I love the colours. I just want it to knit up. Um, that's all of the yarny stuff, basically. Um, I have been lucky enough to uh, be part of the Lay Family Yarn Advent Swap this year. Um, I have already sent my package um, and I received my package this week. Um, oh my goodness, it is so adorable. Um, it is lovely and I can't wait to start opening packages uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this um, and show you what's inside um, next week so all the number all the packages are numbered and there's little extra bits and pieces in there so um, I just can't wait I just can't wait I'm so excited and then also last week I um, granted some wishes from the Instagram get your wish granted hashtag thing um, so I sent out some mini skeins I also purchased a Ravelry pattern for somebody um, and there was um, somebody else asking whether we could share their page go onto their uh, YouTube and have a look at their website and things like that um, there was a few of those so I did those as well and on Instagram I actually um, put my own little grant a, grant a wish and I have received a really lovely package obviously it's open um, of some sock yarn so I will show you that now um, and because I've had a few people say I would love to grant your wish would you send me your address which I did um, I don't know who this is from so if you do watch my channel thank you so much um, because I don't know who it's from there was no message or note um, so I just want to say thank you um, it is much appreciated and these are the little mini skeins that I was sent oh my god they're so cute and I do I am thinking of making mitts, scrappy mitts maybe, because they are so nice and they all go together so well. Um, but yeah, they are just lovely and thank you so much. Um, we all need mini skeins. I never thought I would say that before. Um, I wasn't really a mini skein person. I never thought I would enjoy having little mini skeins that I could just pick out for heels toes cuffs or a scrappy project or anything like that just because I never really did things like that if that makes sense before I was into hand dyed yarn um, so to me having sort of DK scraps of commercial yarn it was like I don't really know what I'm going to do with it um, but now it's just very special and I love it all. I just want all of the yarn. <laughs> I haven't got room for it all, but and I'm trying to use up as much as I can. But I just received lovely gifts from everyone. So thank you so much. It means the world that people will either want to send me stuff uh, or grant my wishes, um, watch my channel, follow me on Instagram, all of the stuff basically. Um, I'm just a normal person and I just am very grateful. Um, what else is there? I think that is everything that I know of <laughs> that's around me. Um, oh no, there is one more thing. What, what did I do with it? What did I do with that? Oh, here. So I have purchased a planner for, um, I want to say 2022, but I got it um, to start in December because I'm too impatient. So I have gone on to the personal planner. Um, I actually found them on Instagram. They, um, it was a sponsored ad that come up um, and I looked at their website and I followed them. I didn't purchase anything straight away. I followed them for a long, long time. 
and all of the planners I just was like oh my god and you can personalize it <clears throat> sorry about that my camera was like Denise you need to stop talking <laughs> um yeah you can personalize your planner how you want it um so you can personalize the front you can personalize the inside and and everything I haven't received it yet um and I thought I would get some stickers maybe um I would love to be able to journal I would love to be able to scrapbook and I would love to be able to be one of these people that do all that sort of thing I get into it and it's not that I get bored or anything um I like to have everything in one sort of place that I can just do bits and pieces so if you've been with me for a while you know that I created my own little journal book diary thing um and I did that for a long time and I just sort of stopped and I think because I stopped vlogging um and it was something that I did while I was editing but I really really want a planner that I can put different bits and pieces in I can write in my own things um and personalize it to how I want it instead of how other people want it so I thought if I have a yearly one then I can every month um, evaluate what I have used in that month whether it works for me if it's not then I can try something different on the next month anyway all that to say is when I was in Poundland the other day I picked up some stickers not that interesting so these are just dots and dots triangles and um, squares and like diamondy shapes it was two for a pound so I picked up um, a Christmas set as well I thought these would look quite nice in December um, and that's the other thing that I want to do I do want to put lots of stickers in and I want um, like to get and use my washi tape I've got lots of washi tape um, and I want to do bits and pieces like that um, I would really really like a little small printer like a photo printer you know like the little bluetoothy ones that you can get um, for special memories instead of printing it on my normal printer because that's not the best way to print it on just normal A4 um, I would love to get like even if it was a um, you know the heat ones where it prints maybe I don't know I'll have to do some research um, and like say if it was a special day where either I had the kids um, or me and Ian went out for a meal and we took a really lovely picture or we just went out for the day that's the sort of thing that I want to do and try um, but until this book comes I don't know how it's going to work for me so um, I do want to use stickers and I do want to use things that are going to remind me of bits and pieces um, I do use a five year diary and I do write that in that every day. Um, every day is different of the things that I write. Sometimes I write what the weather's like, what we've done, what we've had for dinner. Um, sometimes I write what we've watched. Um, sometimes I write if I've done a podcast or if I finished something. Every day is different. So then when I look back at it, I can go, oh, I did that on that day or whatever. It's a little bit like Facebook memories, <laughs> uh, but they're just sort of personal to me. So, yeah, I do um, want to get some more stickers and things. But these were just ones that sort of caught my eye at the time. And I thought, well, I'm getting my di the diary to start in December. Even if it comes halfway through December. Because they say there's like a three or four week lead time on it. Or like a delivery time on it. If it comes halfway through December, I can use these stickers to put in the beginning of it. And, um, yeah, so... Anyway, that is that. Probably a little bit childish, but I do love to do crafty stuff as well as um, knitting and crochet. Um, I'm just hoping that I can, I don't know, get into a routine of doing it more. And yeah, anyway, I'm going to stop rambling about that. <laughs> uh, I can't wait for it to come now and show you because, um, yeah, I just, I'm hoping that the front cover is going to come 
how I want it. So what I've done, I've, I've put my logo on it with my um, like bubble background and then the back is just the plain bubble background. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for it to come and to see what it looks like, see if it's good quality and, and everything. So fingers crossed. Anyway, that's enough of that. Um, is there anything else to tell you about? Uh, possibly not. <laughs> this week, I think it's just going to be a normal quiet week. Not really got anything planned. Um, I had the boys over the weekend. Well, not over the weekend. Friday and Saturday. I had Mikey and Ollie. I didn't vlog or anything. I haven't done a sporadic vlog this week. Um, but I am just chilling until uh, Vlogmas. <laughs> so we shall see. But if there's anything else that's um, incoming or anything like that then that will be shown in vlogmas if I don't do a, uh, a podcast next week we shall see haven't 100% decided still plenty of time anyway thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this video uh, I shall see you in the next one whenever that may be might be vlogmas might be a podcast who knows we'll have to wait and see I've been watching everybody else's videos um, so yeah anyway I'm going to stop rambling. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to get this edited and um, for you lot to see it, I suppose. <laughs> I shall see you very soon. Bye.